I'm Mary Gannon, Managing Editor with Fluid Power World. And I'm Paul Heaney, Editorial Director. In our previous episodes, we talked about what O-rings are and how they work. Now I think it's time to focus on what you need to consider when selecting them. I think the biggest challenge when selecting O-rings is just in how many sizes and materials they are available in, not to mention the countless material compounds and variations you can come up with too. It's true. They're a pretty straightforward seal, but matching the material to the application lets them provide excellent fluid compatibility, withstand various operating environments, and handle temperature extremes as well. Other considerations didn't include whether the application will be static versus dynamic, rotary or axial conditions. You also need to know the operating pressure and whether the system will see pressure spikes. Now these specs in turn let engineers specify design parameters like proper uh, gland dimensions, gland surface finishes, seal cross-section diameter, material hardness, initial compression, clearance gaps, and even how much the seal expands or contracts in relation to its mating surfaces as the temperatures change. Properly designed, O-rings provide long, trouble-free life in countless applications, so take care when selecting them. For even more videos on sealing, please visit www.fluidpowerworld.com, and as always, thanks for watching.